Make a Path Presents. Let's talk. Welcome to Make a Path Presents. My name is Ronnie Hayes, and today, let's talk the Fear of the Walking Dead new promo teasers. All right, to start it off, I think there was a really creepy vibe, especially to the second teaser, the Missing Persons teaser that came out. I think it came out today. Anyway, it, it surprised me, but I love the creepy element. What surprised me was the Missing Persons poster, and they even emphasized that in the, uh, the title of the video. And that was shocking because it was like, oh, people go missing because of what I'm assuming is this virus you know they turn into walkers or however it happens which leads me to believe that some kind of authority has to deal with that situation if it's a child or an adult or whatever if they turn into a walker they're obviously attacking people if the police show up or the government or any authorities like that show up afterwards then they're obviously keeping everything quiet and that would probably explain the missing persons but I do like that creepiness however However, it makes me worry a little bit that it's not going to be a realistic environment. They're driving around and it's only a quick shot, so we can't get all the information from that 10 second preview. But it looked like a park area and there was this shadowy figure under the shadow of a big tree. And it did not look like there was other people around. It did not look like there was other bodies around at all in the, in the environment. And it just, it looked a little barren for what LA should have been. Again, it's a 10 second preview so I'm not gonna count that as a negative mark but I love that creepy vibe so far that they're setting up in these teasers and the one with the kid, that wasn't really, I mean, that was a good uh, teaser. It did what it was supposed to do, which was tease us about how the internet is, you know, popping up reports about people turning into killers. You know, and this kid is looking at these news reports and he thinks something's going on and the teacher blows him off, which I see a lot of comments where people are like, you know, you stupid bitch, this is a zombie apocalypse. But we have to understand, like, they don't know what a zombie apocalypse is, you know what I'm saying? We only know what it is because we're the audience. We already know it's a zombie movie. How many times do you get something happening where, you know, someone loses his mind for no reason whatsoever and brutally murders somebody, and then you get people saying, oh, this is the end of the world, and everyone's like, it's just a psycho, you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't a zombie in Florida. It's just some messed up dude who ate someone's face. It's the same thing. It'd be like that chick saying, listen, if there was an issue, we would know about it. They would make an, a, a report about it. I do like that vibe. Now, there is an important piece of information I do want to clear up for anyone who doesn't know about it and that's about uh, original cast members appearing in Fear of the Walking Dead which they won't be. Robert Kirkman has gone on record now officially confirming there is no character from the original series on the companion series and how this started was the original draft of the script had I believe Dr. Jenner's wife and possibly Dr. Jenner making a, a an appearance in the original pilot. Now that original pilot did not happen that way. Uh, the final draft did not include anybody. I mean, unless they're holding it back for a big surprise, which kind of seems unlikely since he has done a uh, what three interviews that I know of where he came out specifically and the last one was in the most recent official Walking Dead magazine and he said there will not be any character from the original show in this companion piece and that's what makes it different from a spin-off a spin-off has to have you know a cast member from the original show either a minor or a major cast member that's what the big difference is Give me your thoughts, ideas, and predictions down in the comments below. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.